Hello everyone, I'm Kelsey Lemon, Technical Marketing Manager for the Global Services team here at VMware. And in this video, I'm going to give a quick overview of what's new in Skyline. The latest update focuses on improving the type of permissions users are granted when they are assigned specific roles. This update also provides improved filtering capabilities with its new first observed parameter. It also surfaces interoperability issues better when it comes to upgrade recommendations. And finally, new findings and recommendations have been added to Skyline's ever-growing rules engine to provide you even more insight into how to proactively resolve issues that the service finds. So let's jump right in and look at role-based access. There are two service roles available for Skyline Advisor, Skyline Administrator, and Skyline User. To assign new users either role, you will need to access VMware's Cloud Services Portal. A Skyline Administrator can view all of the information available within Skyline Advisor, as well as perform tasks such as adding a Skyline Collector, deregistering a Skyline Collector, opting in or out, or even send data to Dell Solutions, as well as choose whether or not to receive email notifications when a Skyline Collector root password is about to expire. As you can imagine, those with the Skyline User Access option will not be able to perform those tasks, but they still will be able to access the dashboard and leverage Skyline's most popular feature, Log Assist. I should also point out that existing users will automatically be granted administrator rights, so if you would like to make modifications, again, you can do that in VMware's Cloud Services Portal. Now let's talk about the next feature, First Observed Date. As you can imagine, this addition to each finding and recommendation that Skyline reports shows you when each issue was first observed in your organization. With it, you can sort findings by date, as well as combine it with other filtering options such as level of severity to better isolate probable causes for the issue's appearance, such as perhaps a recent upgrade that happened within your query window. And speaking of upgrades, this release also improves how interoperability issues with other VMware solutions are surfaced when upgrades are recommended. Now solution compatibility to upgrades are reported on the initial page, making it easier to understand the dependencies of the upgrade recommendation from a configuration point of view. Users can find more detail on how to solve the issue when they click on the Show Details option. And with that, this completes my overview of the latest updates to Skyline. For more detailed information, including new findings and recommendations that have been added, be sure to check out Skyline's release notes or refer to the blog listed here below.